When China's Tian1 mission failed to release any images of the interstellar object 3I Atlas during its historic pass by Mars, the silence was striking. Since its arrival in 2021, the spacecraft had been a prolific broadcaster, releasing thousands of images from orbit and mapping the Martian surface with a frequency that verged on ritual. Every photograph served two purposes, scientific and symbolic, an assertion of China's growing dominance in planetary exploration. But in early October 2025, as 3I Atlas slipped past the Red Planet, that confidence evaporated. Tian1 transmitted nothing. Beijing said nothing. The event passed without a single official image or public acknowledgement that it had even happened. It was not only China that fell silent. The flyby had been a rare moment of alignment. Five nations, five orbiters, all positioned to study an object from another star. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, ESA's Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter, the UAE's HOPE probe, and China's Tian1 mission together represented the most comprehensive planetary observation network ever assembled. Under normal circumstances, their collective data would have flooded the world within hours. Instead, the transmissions stopped. NASA cited the U.S. government shutdown, which began 48 hours before the encounter. The European Space Agency said its images were still under analysis. The UAE deferred to its partners. Only China maintained total unbroken quiet. At first, the explanation seemed bureaucratic. NASA's public affairs teams were furloughed. ESA's scientists had paperwork to process. And China, perhaps, was waiting to upstage the West with a spectacular release. But as days became a week and no images appeared, that optimism curdled. This was not a delay, it was a coordinated blackout. The absence was conspicuous because 3I Atlas was no ordinary comet. From the moment it was detected, it had been strange. Its emissions contained far more carbon dioxide than water vapor, a chemical ratio nearly 8 to 1, something no natural body had ever displayed. Its surface spectrum glinted with nickel, but lacked iron, an imbalance that defied known models of planetary formation. It vented gas without the slightest measurable push on its orbit, as if the laws of motion didn't apply. Its mass was enormous, its trajectory too neat. By the time it reached Mars, 3I Atlas had already threaded through the inner solar system in a series of near-perfect planetary flybys, close approaches to Venus, then Mars, then Jupiter, that computer simulations suggested had less than a 1 in 20,000 chance of happening by chance. The more scientists looked, the less sense it made. Observations hinted at an object older than the Milky Way, perhaps 7 to 14 billion years in age. Its light scattered in a way that matched no known asteroid or comet. A private analysis circulating among researchers used Bayesian modeling to compare the odds of natural versus artificial origin. The result was extraordinary. A Bayes factor of 10 to the 28th, favoring something engineered. The authors stopped short of endorsing that conclusion, but the numbers spoke for themselves. Normally, such a discovery would ignite fierce competition. Each space agency would rush to publish first, to claim a new milestone in the study of interstellar bodies. But after the Mars encounter, every statement sounded eerily the same. Data under review, preliminary calibration, no comment at this time. As if the world's scientists had simultaneously lost their curiosity. The timing was too perfect, the vocabulary too uniform. Somewhere, it seemed, a decision had been made to wait. Behind closed doors, that decision may have followed a set of protocols drafted decades earlier by the Search for Extraterrestrial Intelligence. They were written for the impossible. What to do if evidence of a non-human technology ever appeared? The first rule was simple. Verify independently, share data privately, and make no unilateral announcements until multiple confirmations exist. In theory, those procedures were designed to prevent false alarms. In practice, they produced silence. Outside the official channels, the void filled quickly. Amateur radio operators detected encrypted bursts from Mars telemetry bands, consistent with data transmissions from orbiters. The spacecraft were clearly active. They were sending something. But the agencies receiving that data weren't talking. Astronomers watching from Earth saw no outward signs of activity. 3I Atlas remained a steady, carbon dioxide-rich point of light, faint but constant, moving serenely away from Mars. 
On the surface, nothing seemed remarkable, except the way every nation with a camera refused to describe what it saw. By mid-October, attention shifted to a date that promised revelation. October 29, 2025, the object's perihelion, when it would make its closest approach to the sun, about 203 million kilometers away. For a normal comet, that proximity would trigger an eruption of activity. Solar radiation would heat the surface, sublimating ices into vapor, spinning the nucleus, and perhaps tearing it apart. Scientists prepared for a show of physics and chemistry, a chance to test whether 3i Atlas was ordinary after all. ESA's ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter released a handful of preview images as the object brightened. They showed faint streaks, maybe noise, maybe background stars. Officials dismissed suggestions of fragments or debris. No confirmed secondary bodies, the caption read. But image analysts saw something they couldn't quite categorize. Faint, symmetrical arcs around the object, too structured to be random interference, too consistent to ignore. Behind the scenes, conversations turned uneasy. If 3i Atlas behaved like a typical comet, it might simply crumble. But if it stayed intact, or worse, released objects in an organized pattern, it would demand an explanation far outside conventional astrophysics. Some researchers began using euphemisms in their internal correspondence. Coordinated ejection, structured release, non-stochastic dispersal. The meaning was clear enough. When perihelion came, telescopes across Earth and in orbit turned their gaze toward the inner solar system. The object flared brighter, its jets forming luminous streams that shimmered in infrared. But instead of disintegrating chaotically, 3i Atlas stabilized, the emissions pulsed rhythmically. And then, just as the world's instruments reached maximum sensitivity, something happened that no one could have predicted. Several smaller points of light detached from the main body and began to drift outward, slowly, evenly, in perfect formation. At NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory, where operations had partially resumed after the shutdown, Analysts watched in disbelief. Fragments, one murmured. Another shook her head. They're moving too cleanly. The same pattern appeared in ESA's control room in Darmstadt, in mission data relayed to Beijing's command center, and in the independent readings of the UAE's Hope Probe. Six small objects separating, maintaining spacing, trailing in sequence behind the parent body. No debris cloud, no rotation, no scattering. Within a week, ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, captured additional imagery as it crossed a section of space near the object's outbound trajectory. The probe recorded several dim companions moving with 3i Atlas, each reflecting sunlight sharply, as though metallic. Infrared spans showed no outgassing, no vapor, no dust, no tail. They weren't behaving like ice. They were simply there. Official reports came quickly but said almost nothing. Complex activity near perihelion, ESA announced. NASA echoed the phrasing almost word for word. The Chinese National Space Administration issued no update at all. Across agencies, the tone was identical. Measured, sterile, and deliberately incomplete. Whatever had been seen, no one intended to explain it yet. In private conversations, some scientists began to speak of 3i Atlas as a kind of interstellar gardener, a machine or construct that disperses smaller bodies, perhaps probes across planetary systems, the way a dandelion releases its seeds to the wind. The metaphor was poetic, but it carried an edge of terror. If true, it meant humanity had just witnessed a technology designed to survive cosmic time by replication. Meanwhile, the Galileo Project observatories on Earth began monitoring for potential activity in the upper atmosphere, anything that might suggest incoming debris. None appeared, but the project's founder admitted in an interview that they might not know if something microscopic had entered at all. If it's a natural breakup, we'll see dust. If it's not, we may not see anything. In November and December, as 3i Atlas moved outward again along its slow retreat from the inner solar system, ESA's Jupiter Icy Moons Explorer, JUICE, 
maintained continuous surveillance from a distant vantage point. The probe's instruments detected a faint, persistent convoy of smaller objects accompanying the main body. They spread gradually across thousands of kilometers of space, but their configuration remained remarkably ordered. Each fragment held a steady luminosity, their reflected light flickering in synchrony as though responding to a hidden rhythm. Spectrographic readings showed no signatures of outgassing or dust, none of the telltale signs of a natural comet shedding material under solar heat. Instead, they appeared inert yet stable, gliding through space with a composure that seemed deliberate. Juice's sensors also recorded a subtle anomaly. One fragment deviated slightly from its predicted course, shifting its vector by a few meters per second, an almost imperceptible change, but one inconsistent with purely ballistic motion. The deviation could have been caused by solar radiation pressure, a micro-impact, or a calibration error. Or, as some within ESA quietly speculated, it could have been a maneuver. The data was inconclusive, but the possibility lingered. Despite mounting questions, the agency's public posture has not changed. ESA continues to refer to the behavior as a fragmentation of uncertain nature, a phrase that has since become a kind of diplomatic shield, acknowledging the strangeness without naming it. NASA's own interim report introduces a new term, calling the phenomenon one of anomalous stability, a characterization that manages to describe both motion and mystery while revealing nothing. Beijing, characteristically, remains silent. No imagery, no updates, no commentary from the China National Space Administration. Across all three space powers, the language of caution has become universal. To the public, the blackout has become a story in itself. We live in an age of instant imagery, of live-streamed rover selfies and real-time spacewalks. Science has never been more visible or more theatrical. That the world's major powers could collectively suppress data on an event of this magnitude feels almost anachronistic, a return to the secrecy of the Cold War. And yet, perhaps that is the point. Some discoveries, if confirmed, transcend national interest. Maybe 3I Atlas is just an extraordinarily stubborn comet, one that refused to crumble even under solar heat. Maybe the smaller objects are inner debris, their formation a coincidence of geometry and timing. But if the symmetry holds, if the fragments continued to move as though guided, then the implications are staggering. A civilization that could build an object like that and send it between the stars would be older than our species, perhaps older than Earth itself. For now, the object recedes into the dark, beyond the reach of most telescopes. It carries its secrets outward, past Mars, past Jupiter, back toward interstellar space. It leaves behind no answers, only questions, and a silence that stretches from Houston to Beijing, from Darmstadt to Dubai. What began as a scientific opportunity has become something else entirely, a mirror held up to humanity's readiness to confront the unknown. Perhaps the agency's discretion is not deception, but caution, a way of shielding the world from premature revelation. Or perhaps it is fear, not of what 3i Atlas is, but of what it might force us to become if we admit that we are not alone. Until the data are released, 3i Atlas remains both object and metaphor. It is the unknown made visible, the question hanging in the dark between stars. Somewhere beyond the sun, it drifts silently with its companions, patient as time itself. If they are fragments, they will fade. If they are probes, they will travel. And if they are neither, then they are something we have no word for yet. Silence is rarely neutral. In science, it can mean doubt. In politics, it means control. But in history, it sometimes signals the pause before revelation. That is where the world stands now, waiting, wondering, listening to the quiet between transmissions, unsure whether what we are not being told is caution, consensus, or the first faint echo of contact.